And it's time to go inside her story with Jackie Reed from our New York studios. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Tom. Now, preeclampsia is a deadly illness that attacks pregnant women, often killing them or their babies or both. Unfortunately, African-American women are four times more likely to die from pregnancy complications like preeclampsia. Well, actors Robin Givens, Elise Neal, Miguel Nunez, and many more are trying to do something about it. They're all starring in a new movie on the subject. It's called Breathe. I'm going inside her story with Angela Bergen Logan, who is the executive producer and writer of the film, as well as the subject, Tom. Breathe tells the story of Angela's near-death experience with preeclampsia. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. Now, you say you knew something was wrong during your pregnancy, but doctors didn't believe you. What symptoms were you experiencing? Well, to be honest with you, um, I, have been, I have been having symptoms for quite a while, and those dismissed, the symptoms really got dismissed as me being a nervous new mother. Some of the things that I experienced were high blood pressure. My blood pressure was so high at the end of my pregnancy, it was actually 210 <gasps> over 110. Oh, my gosh. Wow. It was completely unacceptable. I actually experienced sudden weight gain. I was gaining weight so fast during my pregnancy, and I will tell you that this was my first child. So, you know, I actually relied on my doctor's expertise. I didn't really know what to expect, and um, when I started putting on weight rather quickly, I, you know, became alarmed, but I wasn't really sure was this normal for me. I was gaining weight at the rapid pace of about five pounds a week. There was a week in there where I actually gained 15 pounds in one week. Um, I actually had swelling so severe that when I would walk, my legs and feet would literally crack and bleed. I um, ultimately wound up gaining 100 pounds during the course of my pregnancy. Wow. Now you're here to tell the story um, that you and your baby almost died. Tell us about those moments in the hospital. You know, it's something that you never really think of. To me, my story was the dream that almost turned into a nightmare. Um, I actually went to the hospital not to actually deliver my child. I went to the hospital because I just felt as though I couldn't breathe. I had no idea that I, I was actually suffering from heart failure. Um, I was actually, you know, going into uh, kidney fa failure and lung failure. So in those moments, um, you know, I actually saw my life slipping before me. But I also felt the extreme call to action to fight for myself and, my, and for my baby. And that's really what I did. And ultimately, through a miracle, you know, we're, we're here today to share our story. And I'm just so um, impassioned about telling my story with the hopes that it will change the outcome for other mothers and babies around the country. Now you're not now, a doctor. I'm sorry, Jackie. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Sorry. You're not a doctor, but um, why is it that black women are more predisposed to this than, than others? Well, quite frankly, researchers still don't quite know. We are at a higher risk. Our ethnicity has played a factor. Oh. Um, certainly, um, there are other factors that um, can predispose a woman to preeclampsia, such as being over the age of 35, um, if you are suffering from other autoimmune uh, disorders, such as lupus or diabetes, um, and if you are you know, somewhat overweight. Those are some of the risk factors that could predispose a woman to um, a situation and an issue like preeclampsia. And over 35 as well, um, being a bit older. Now, the movie Breathe is your story, Angela. How, um, and you and your husband, I want to ask you this, spent your life savings on this. Um, how'd, you, how'd you end up making a movie? Well, you know, to be honest with you, my husband is um, a recording artist and an actor. You know, he's he's worked with everyone in the business, from Tyler Perry to Robin Givens and, and Miguel Nunez. And so he had a really great circle of friends in the entertainment community who wanted to support him. But ultimately, we really wanted to transform what we're doing in our personal lives and really bring it to the masses. We just felt that what happened to us was a call to action. When I got on the men, we were on a mission to make a difference um, in the area of women's health. So we just decided we've already given our life for this. I, mean, I nearly lost my life. My daughter nearly lost her life. So what more would it be for us to give our, our own you know, personal savings to help tell this, woman, uh, this story with the hopes that it would change the outcome for, for women and babies? So we felt it wasn't something that we, um, you know, we, we just felt it was something we had to do. We just felt that it was so important for us to share our story because I'm really the face of what preeclampsia looks like. I'm really the face of those pregnancy-related uh, conditions that affect African-American women, which actually occurs across socioeconomic you know, status. It really doesn't matter where you fall on the, the spectrum of income, your outcome could be the same. So for us, it was just something that we felt compelled to do. Uh, we just felt it was so important that other families not lose um, a wife, not lose a child. And so for us, it was just something we just felt that we should and we could do.
Now, you can see the trailer, Tom, for uh, the movie Breathe at BreatheTheFilm.com. And your goal, um, Angela, is to get it on TV or in theaters. Um, is that likely? How's that going? It's going really well. We would certainly ask everyone to, you know, leave comments um, on the YouTube page. You can go to breathethefilm.com. Um, it's going very well, but certainly your support um, and your, your listeners out there just encouraging uh, networks to pick up this would be greatly appreciated. Okay. And just Good to be one. clear, Tom, um, Angela's fine today. The baby is fine. They both survived this and are doing very well. Um, Angela, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. All right, Jackie. All right, you guys.